This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. This ought to be a thriller, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Looking forward to today. She'll be in for a good game. Let's hope we see a quick start from both teams. Set the tempo for the rest of the match. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, his ball possession will be his key. People give him the ball because they know he links the play. You give him the ball, then you make a run, you normally get the ball back, which is very encouraging. So the initial 11 for the home side. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Well, let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11. Thank you. Enjoy Would you call game. it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. Two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And the game begins. Jack Watmo. Well, couldn't keep it. Beautifully weighted ball. Is this the moment? And unfortunate with that chip, Lee, just over the top. Oh, he's done everything right. He's gone over the keeper, but unfortunately he's gone over the bar as well. Ben Close. Johnson. It's opening up for them. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away, first time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Opening goal of the game, then. On and on he goes. Cissé. Intelligent threaded pass here. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Shot attempted. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, he was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. 
Well, Derek, there's the life of a manager right there. Pure frustration. It's such a thankless job at times. And there to intervene. And he read it well defensively. See black. Kenny. An attack full of promise. Options in the middle. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Corner awarded. Now the delivery, and you need your defender to take charge. And another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. And a goal kick will be next. A well, real excitement in the air on the transfer front prior to the game, and it has emerged, Lee, that Barcelona have been successful. I think he'll add some real quality to this new club. He's a team player. I'm sure he'll settle in quickly. A proper pro. Ben Close. Harrison. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And I believe there's been a goal on the Sheffield United game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sheffield United. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And possession lost, intercepted. Michael Jacobs. Close on the ball. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Thumps clear. Space and time for the cross. It looks promising. It has to be! There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? That could have been it. Danger averted. Really nice ball. Takes it on. I don't think the goalkeeper will be complaining about poor finishing like that, Lee. No, it's not about the goalkeeper. It's about that poor effort. That really is awful. See black. Tom Naylor. Close on the ball. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Harrison. Have they given him too much space? And after the cross, a tremendous block. And a throw in it's going to be. play was allowed to carry on but now that it's come to a halt a caution Ben close and take it away 
And showing fine vision. Well, trailing here, but a corner it is. Played into the centre of the box. Gets his glove on it. Kenny firing it towards goal. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, he was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Tom Naylor. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Nicely cut out. Johnson. Ben Close. Naylor here. Michael Jacobs. That needs an accurate cross. Real danger. Can he take the chance? He had to react and did. Cissé. Oh, big chance! Can he finish? Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. Well, Derek, there's the life of a manager right there. Pure frustration. It's such a thankless job at times. And let's join Alan McAnally now, because I think there's been a goal in the Sheffield United game. Alan? It's a second goal for Sheffield United. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Michael Jacobs. Wonderful block. And unable to keep possession. Couldn't keep it. Michael Jacobs. Michal Sieplak. Very comfortable when in possession. Can they create something from here? No real threat, you've got to say. And there to intervene. How about the cross? Teammate available. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Kenny. And news coming through of a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. 40 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. What more? 
close on the ball. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. And giving the ball away. Oh, nice ball. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. No shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. Lee and I will be with you for this match. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Tom Naylor. Bauer. Michael Jacobs. Well, there to intercept. Kenny. They've regained possession. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Tom Naylor. Michael Jacobs. Naylor here. An attack full of promise. In position here to protect the ball. Dangerous looking attack. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. And he read it superbly. Well, they have the ball once more. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And the game begins. And unfortunate with that chip, Lee, just over the top. Oh, he's done everything right. He's gone over the keeper, but unfortunately, he's gone over the... In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Shot attempted. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. It looks promising. It has to be! There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? Close on the ball. Firing it towards goal. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Oh, big chance. Can he finish? Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better. Teammate available. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity.
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Ben Close and it crossed the touch line so a throw in here And let's join Alan McAnally now, because I think there's been a goal in the Sheffield United game. Alan? It's a third goal for Sheffield United. 48 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Ben Close. And clears his lines. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Portsmouth facing Brentford. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Ben Close. Well, he's given us away. Cissé. Well, they keep passing away. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. Tom Naylor. Close on the ball. Naylor here. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Counter-attacking very much an option. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Oh, he's really up on them up here. Well, he likes to run at them. And players waiting in the centre. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Siplak. Michael Jacobs. Black. In with a chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generated a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time, look. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. It's going their way, 2-0. Number 10, Ellis Harrison. Possession for Portsmouth, no problem. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. But strong play here on the shielding front. Nicely timed tackle. Thompson. Cissé. Kenny. Couldn't keep it. Harrison moving into the advanced position 
And options in the centre. Really good challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Cissé. It's a perfect challenge. Michal Siplak. Michael Jacobs. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Jacobs. Good looking ball. Space and time for the cross. Real chance. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Time for the change now. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Dennis. Kenny. And let's join Alan McAnally with news of a goal that's been scored in the Barnsley game. Alan. It's a goal from Barnsley. It's been scored by Collie Woodrow. A shot from the edge of the area that has somehow gone through the keeper's hands. 71 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Dangerous looking attack. But it can't get through. Splendid tackle. And the outcome is a corner here. into the centre of the box a very effective clearance a reminder, the food Kenny a oh good strike like it was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there Kenny and it might be still possibilities well, they can keep possession of it now. Michal Sieplak. Craig McGilvery. Johnson. Morris. Jack Watmo. Naylor here. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Morris. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Strong play here. Well taken away. He won the ball. Dennis. Not the pass he had in mind. And I believe there's been a goal in the Barnsley match. Alan McAnally can give us the lowdown. Alan. It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. 80 minutes played. 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Only 10 minutes remaining here.
A glorious chance. Not out of the woods yet. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Substitution time it is. Thompson, Kenny, simple save really. Michal Sieplak. Now the attack fizzled out. It's opening up for them. Taking care of business defensively here. And let's join Alan McAnally now because I'm hearing there's been a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan. It's a second goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Five minutes remain. 2-0. Thanks very much as Something always, Alan. Alan. For Portsmouth, coming off the pitch, number 10, Alex Harrison, to be replaced by number 9, John Marquis. Bauer. Palmer. What more? Marquis. That's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. What can he do from here? In position. Almost unbelievably, he's kept it out. Well, I'm not sure how he's reached that. Just look at the stretch on that. A brilliant save. And now the delivery... And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. We have entered the final minutes of normal time. And intercepts again. Dennis. On the offensive, and the flag does go up, must have been tight. <laughs> Kenny. the crossbar Kenny and that is the end of the game it goes into the history books as a home defeat Lee your thoughts yeah and it was the nature of the performance more than anything they just never got out of second gear and were dominated all over the park I tell you what I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively.
Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. Shot attempted. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. It looks promising. It has to be. There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? Close on the ball. Firing it towards goal. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Oh, big chance. Can he finish? Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better. Teammate available. Now well, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. In with a chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Space and time for the cross. Real chance. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Splendid tackle. And the outcome is a corner here. Almost unbelievably, he's kept it out. Well, I'm not sure how he's reached that. Just look at the stretch on that. A brilliant save. 